Once upon a time, a cherished soul withered before my eyes, and in their final precious moments, they bestowed to me a gift as a token of trust and friendship, a blessing, a curse, a memento, all in one seemingly insignificant object. It was a simple bookmark. But over time, I began to see something within. Knowledge out of sync with time, carefully woven archives of realities unbeknownst to humanity. The creation and destruction of worlds, visions of universes that expanded and receded back to their origin points. The... It was forbidden knowledge compiled all so neatly right before my eyes. And God kind was unhappy to learn of what I found. So I hid the knowledge away to a place no one would ever suspect before my imprisonment. So here you wonder, how does the story end? Truthfully, this story is only just beginning. Shirin! Welcome everyone to Hall Live Advent's debut. I will be your first host for today, Shiori Novella. And I see that you have seemed to break my chat. <laughs> ah, so many eyes. But is this really all you can do for me? Is this really all the hype you can build? I want you to spam Hollow Advent on Twitter and perhaps here as well. Could you do that for me? Shall we hype things up a bit? Alright. Everyone? I want you to scream for me. So... One, two... Come on! Is this all you can do for me? Hollow oh, Advent! Hollow oh, Advent! And then let's do some confetti. And... Uh, oh! I think you humans love balloons, don't you? Ba-bum, bum, bum, ba-da-ba-ba. <laughs> Perhaps slow mode is a bad idea, huh? I want to see you squeal. <laughs> anyway, let us simmer down a little. There you go. All nice and calm now. And let us put on a bit of... Uh, nice music. So, first off, introductions are in order, so let us start. My name is, as you should know by now, Shiori Novella, at your service. My age is quite unknown. I personally do not know. My birthday, May 2. Will you spend it with me? It would be quite nice to have your eyes on me then. <laughs> you like this font? Well, thank you. My role is an archiver. Naturally, that means I archive things. Your memories, for example. Memories you make together, books I adore, characters I think are worth saving. All of it will be just for my eyes. Now, my wonderful mama, Hayahara san, arigato gozaimasu. Thank you for making me into a beautiful, beautiful woman. I am absolutely in love with myself, I suppose. <laughs> I love your hands. And then, for my papa, I was born from the hands of Haluka-chan. They brought movement into my bones. <laughs> so please, do give them a follow on Twitter. I would be very happy if you could. Now, on to the next slide. A lot of hands went into this debut. And I would appreciate it if you can give them the same love that I will give to you. So... We have mascots on here. These mascots are the Nyakuza. There is a reason for that. I will go into that later. But for now, you may occasionally see them. For example, right here. <laughs> they will be here to cheer me on in our activities together. I animated them, by the way. <laughs> I can do some slight tactics like that. Now, go away, cats. My logo at the top left was created by Reku. You can follow them on Twitter. The lore art you saw at the beginning was made by Chappie. Please give them a follow. Their art is quite wonderful. And the stinger you will see it very, very often was made by... Ari Uwu. Uwu? The Nyakuza here, our mascots, was made by a wonderful friend, Yana Draws. 
And the starting soon screen was, was made by... Woke? 8K, perhaps. But please, do give them a follow. Ooh. Now for my hobbies! Usually we talk about this on the first date, don't we? I can play the piano. I... I was actually forced into playing the piano. <laughs> but I suppose the skills came in handy. I can sight read. And I used to transcribe piano songs. Which makes sense, considering I'm an archiver. I enjoy cooking. Unfortunately, I do not have much time to cook nowadays. And I admit, I may not be taking care of myself so often. So... I suppose you can do that for me? I... I enjoy photography. I am trying to learn all the vocabulary terms with it, but I, frankly, I don't have much time. <laughs> you guys are so excited, but good people. I... I enjoy feeding strays. Is that a hobby? I... I leave food out for them sometimes. And I get kind of... I don't know, I think I'm a little bit too empathetic. I... I also carry... Bird feed with me whenever I go out. So... If I see birds, I'll... I'll throw seeds at the side. Somewhere where they won't get hurt or anything. But... But yeah. In fact... The cats... Around my area... Have come to know me a little bit too well. They started... What is the term? Caterwauling? I believe? One of them does. And then one of them brought perhaps either their girlfriend or their sister. I, I don't know cats, siblings to be honest. But... They got a little bit too comfortable. And I saw them one day and I thought, how cute. They brought a friend. Now I can feed more cats. And then it, it went on top of that. And I was talking to one of my genmates for this. Risa, in fact. And I sent a picture saying, I think they're playing or something. And she affirmed that no, they are clearly doing something else. They are doing a very specific act. And I asked, should I be stopping them? And she said, yes, please. So, like the dork I am, I knocked against the window to catch their attention. And the cat, he paused. He did pause. He looked at the source of the sound. He was probably thinking, yeah. What is that, Nya? Yeah? And then he kept going. And I was concerned at this point. I will not have unprotected acts on my lawn here. So I went out there. And I, I was basically saying, stop. I, I can't take care of kids and strays. It's a little bit too much. And it freaked them out. They still come by, I think. But I haven't seen them doing that since. To be fair, I don't exactly keep an eye out 24-7, so... Who knows? <laughs> but hey, I did a good deed that day. You gotta do it protected. Otherwise, you're gonna have to feed more cats. Now, I, I enjoy daydreaming. I am a little bit... aloof, and I, I may go quiet sometimes. That is perhaps because I am daydreaming and, and whatnot. Why is everyone so excited all of a sudden? <laughs> I listen to a lot of audiobooks. I suffer from very, very, very severe insomnia. But you will hear my recommendations later. I also enjoy text adventures and visual novels. I am still a maiden at heart. I enjoy the idea of romance... ...for, f for fiction. <laughs> Only if I can become a character myself, which fits quite nicely with my job, because I can. Hopefully, I don't get hurt in the process, but as an archiver, it is a very dangerous type of work. We'll talk about that later. And then I enjoy playing life sims. Why? Because I can get married in them sometimes, so I like I like that. You guys like getting attached to characters too, don't you? So, yes. That is, um... My embarrassing details. Now, we are gonna go more into our little date. I suppose so. Please hold tight, all right? Oh, there I am. Oh, and who is that at the top right? My, you guys really broke my chat. <laughs> all right, this is the part where I get excited. So if I become a complete utter dork, I mean, I'm a librarian for crying out loud. What did you expect? So. My lovely, lovely chat. 
Let us go over the details of my favorite books. Ah, oh, I love Audible. So, so, I read The Devil Aspect. It is a little bit of a suspenseful thriller. A little psychology. First off, it was a little bit of a slow burn at first. But you get really into it. Now, my favorite book that has stood out to me the most is Of Mice and Men. I... I'll, I'll confess, I may be aloof. It may seem hard to read. And that is a very common understanding for me. I, I cried at this book. I cry easily, okay? I cry very easily. I think I am empathetic despite not wishing to be. So please do take care of me. I also... Now, my favorite genre is... Mystery! Sherlock Holmes and anything detective related, I... Uh, oh no, Lenny. <laughs> but yes, I adore mystery. The Heathcliff Lennox series on Audible is fantastic. The narrator does such a wonderful job. I have to admit, I don't like it when characters get married in my in my stories though. Mostly because I like to self-insert. Um, but you guys you guys can understand that, right? You like self-inserting too. Don't you want to self-insert as um someone I adore? <laughs> Now, Sherlock Holmes, I have read the entire canonical series already. I have ran out of content. I've ran out. You also love books? Good, we can talk about them later then. <laughs> so, so I have to rely on non-canon stories, and I am very particular. Sometimes I don't mind if he is out of character, as you call it. I can excuse it. But I, I like to self-insert myself in Watson's place, at least in these specific timelines and universes where Watson is uh, a different type of Watson. But, but, but I like Sherlock Holmes. It is so fun being his assistant. But I have, I have, um, without saying the actual term, I have been unalived in these books before. You see, when you archive things, you have to witness all events perfectly to archive it. Exactly as it should have been for future eyes. If you fail, it becomes what is essentially non-canon. So, archiving can be hard. The Hellfire Conspiracy is... This is part of a series now. It's good! I like it. Read it. If you wish. If you wish. And then the Cthulhu Casebooks. This is actually part of Sherlock Holmes as well. So... <laughs> I like... I like it. I was not too fond of the first one. That one... Watson was... Oh, no not, no offense to... The current Watson of this universe. But the Watson in the Cthulhu casebook was very... Very... Out of character. A little bit annoying, in fact. But if you can go through that... Go for the second and third one. It's... I loved it. I liked it so much. <laughs> I have more bu I have more books. Please forgive me. Rebecca! Okay, so there is actually a movie of Rebecca as well. So, if you can read this version of 1938, and then you can look at the public domain movie, at least I think it's public domain. I have to remember. It's good! It is a little bit of a suspense. It is... It is partial romance. I did not expect to like the book Rebecca. But it's good if you can go through the fact that the main character is essentially throwing out her emotions at you all the time. Agatha Christie, I read, um... And then there were none. Along with Murder on the Orient Express. The Orient Express was odd to me, but I do like the train setting. I ended up liking it. I would like to read more of it. <laughs> the Silkworm mystery. Um, It's hard for me to describe it. I, I used to volunteer at hospitals, essentially. And I had a lot of time in my hands, so I read a lot of books when I was finished or had nothing to do. And I read a silk from during that, well, studying anatomy. And I really adore this book. There is an interesting story about Robert... Valbraith, I believe? But I will not go into it. And then I suppose we should... Do we have time? Uh, I sure. I'm sure we do. Journey to the River Sea! Family-friendly book. Go read it. There is a sequel. And then, of course, these are my favorite short stories of Sherlock Holmes. Oh, I would love to do a book club with everyone, if you are willing. I will have to think about it. But I... I Naturally, I used to be part of a book club in my youth. So, not expected. But if you ever want to get into Sherlock Holmes, I recommend the short stories. 
The Blue Carbuncle is a good Christmas story. The Hound of the Baskervilles is a novel. Really good. It is somewhat like Wuthering Heights. It is a gothic setting. And then Charles Augustus Milverton. I believe that's the right case. That one was good. Um, I don't want to spoil it, but oh gosh. I, I loved being in that story. And then The Way Home was just like, how dare you do that? When, when something happened, I was like, wow. And then Devil's Foot is fantastic. So... Anyway... Oh, forgive me for my excitement. And, and then there are cartoons. <laughs> I like Courage the Cowardly Dog, Grim Adventures of Billy Mandy, and of course, the supernatural Blue's Clues. But, but Courage and Grim Adventures have quite the supernatural motif. I quite enjoyed it, frankly. I, I absolutely adore Courage. And then... Um, on the right side, besides the last one, the right side is a little bit of a, an edgy taste. Frankly, I somehow found these in my youth. I don't know how, but I I absolutely love Metalop... Metalop... Did I even write that right? Metalopolis? Is that correct? Metalopop... And then I enjoy South Park. Metalocalypse is fantastic! Ah, oh, I would love to watch that with you. In fact, there's like a movie coming out. South Park, I enjoyed certain arcs of it. I've not kept... Kept an... Kept? What's it called? Kept an eye on recent seasons. But I, I remember Imagination Land, the Black Friday episode, and the one with, um... Craig and the guinea pigs, I believe. Super chill! This one is a little bit odd for me. I, I admit, I do not keep track with it. But I remember watching it. And now that I think about it, I don't know how this was allowed. And then Over the Garden Wall has a special place in my heart. If you have not watched it, please do. It is fantastic. So, next one. Now, these are games I enjoyed at some point in my lifetime. I am quite... an... Ageless being? I've forgotten. But I do like Super Mario Sunshine. I, I always wanted Mario to just have a good time. And I just would make him sleep at those little chairs. I, I loved his sleeping animation. And naturally, I love Harvest Moon. Because I can get married in it. <laughs> ah, a wonderful life. Oh, we're gonna have so many stories to tell. But I... I suppose I was... A yandere? Is that the term? No, that's inappropriate. But there was this one person... I would always follow. She had no... Proper sleep schedule, just like me. So what I did was... I... I also did not know where home was. That was a very... A difficult story for my age for some reason. But I was so smitten... At archiving this game. So I stalked a certain redhead. And I stalked her to no end. To the point that she had no choice but to love me. <laughs> and then Tree of Tranquility and Magical Melody. Oh gosh, this is just good games. We'll talk about things we like and character archetypes you like if you don't mind. I am a Nami fan, yes. I have a very particular type. And then Super Smash Bros. Brawl. If you ever want to come at me, then go ahead. Let's see if I can beat you up. <laughs> I used to main Peach. It was fun mating her. I also used to play as Kirby. And I had a habit of... <clears throat> um... Swallowing... Things. And then jumping off the stage. As my way of archiving. So I could not properly archive this game. It was just simply too fun. Putting things in the mouth and offing them. So that was quite fun. So if you ever want to test your skills against me, I am no pro. But I hope that I can be a good match against you. Because I'm sure I can take at least some of you on. <laughs> Next slide. Alright, these are my types. <clears throat> hmm. If you ever are similar to these, uh, then... Um... Um... Uh, oh, oh no. Uh, I'm too happy. Okay, go away, Glitter. Hmm. Alright. So, I I love smart people. 
I am fond of certain personality types. In fact, let me move over to the side a little. I, I enjoy Sherlock Holmes, naturally. The canon version. Actually, some non-canon is fine, too. Dan... Dan Hong? Or is it Dan Hong? Oh, gosh. I, I adore him. I love stoic personalities. I have not spent money on these before. Let me make that clear. I have never spent money on a gacha game. You would be surprised. I, I think. But, but I do like Dan Hung, and I look forward to his dragon form. And then, and then Scaramouche is, I believe, the term Kusugaki? <laughs> I... You guys wish to fix me, don't you? Well, I wish to fix them, too. <laughs> but Bokasawa is a proper gentleman. I quite adore him. But then Zhao, on the other spectrum, is broken. And I wish to gather all his pieces up. <laughs> and and then this one might be a little bit odd. But I... I like Snufkin. <laughs> I, I enjoy Snufkin. Snufkin is like prototype Kazuha. But you cannot be with Snufkin. Now, these are a list of characters I've liked over the course of my lifetime. So it is... It is quite a lot. Some of them I am no longer as fond of... For obvious purposes. For example, Kaneki Ken. I too have been Kaneki Ken. Look at my freaking hair. Beautiful, by the way. But Kaneki Ken did something that I did not expect. Right before my eyes. And... And let's just say that I was... I was rather unhappy with it. But... I wish him the best, though. He is happy and that is all that matters. So, let us continue before I go into 10 hours of this. Now, these are current animes I like. I will admit... I'm a book gal, guys. I do not watch things too often. But the last things I do remember... Was... Ajin? Dora Hidoro? Gintama has a special place in my heart. It always will. I have actually watched both the Japanese and English version of Ghost Stories. It is quite a very different take. And then Made in Abyss. Super violently fun. Mononoke? Not the movie. This one is an anime that's also going to be made later. Like, uh, I think a movie? Super fun. Very creative. Please give it a watch. And then Kaiden Restaurant is an obscure anime? That one is more of a supernatural one for kids. And then also Matsu-san was just intriguing. Now for games. I'll be honest, I did not expect to fall in love with Dragon Quest. I fell in love with Dragon Quest XI. I had a thousand screenshots of Eric from it. Amori is a fan-freaking-tastic game. Hero is a good husbando, by the way. Dragon Quest Builders 2, I did not expect to cry for Dragon Quest Builders 2. I thought you would just place blocks and do things, but Dragon Quest can be quite depressing. But I love it. I love it when things make me feel emotions. Otherwise, I'll be aloof at all times. And then anything multiplayer is fun because I love being with my friends. And my time at Portia, I spent a lot of time in. And uh, it was fun just playing it. And nah! Alright, I suppose this is the end of the first date. I'm gonna take you to the Hall of Life headquarters. So, everyone! Won't you please hold my hand and let us safely cross the road, alright? So, let us go. Oh, that is the wrong one. Let us go for this one. Now, some trivia of me. What is it? You guys look rather surprised. Now, I don't suggest... You cross the road with your phones out, but... I'm an archiver. I'm powerful enough as it is. I know it's simply too much. I got Kaneki Ken for crying out loud. So, trivia! I eat with scissors at times. Incredibly efficient. But... Quite dangerous. Would not recommend. Oh, why are you guys surprised? So, scissors to me is like chopsticks. You take... Steak... Even hamburger. I've used pizza, even ice cream. So, take scissors... Cut it, and then pick it up like chopsticks and just put it in your mouth. How... Well, I would not recommend you do this, unless you're like me, I suppose. Very, very... Well, don't get sharp scissors, naturally. <laughs> 
I do enjoy my scissors, so... Let us go to... The papa. I, um... I enjoy photography. I like... Things that may not be alive. Such as insects. And I like to send them to people whom I deem can accept me for who I am. So I am the type... Oh, you're an insect now? Is that so? Shall I take pictures of you then? Or shall I put you on display? So... I am the type... to... stop on the ground and take pictures of things. And I... I just... I'll, I'm just that weird one, I suppose. Uh, this one is simply because of my knowledge. I simply know too much. I suffer from insomnia and headaches. Exercise does not fix insomnia for me. Nor possibly medicine. My brain simply overthinks at the silliest notions of things. And I have... Ah, excuse me. I have headaches at times. So I suppose my health is not the best. But that is the cost of such power, isn't it? Oh, you wish to fix me, is that so? I'd like to see you try. And now... Every voice out of me is real! <laughs> From the indifferent, apathetic voice such as this. To perhaps something more exciting! And, and really happy! So depending on what you wish for me to feel around you... If you wish for me to be bored and uninterested, then perhaps this. Or maybe if I like you, then this. I don't know, it depends. Wait, what do you guys want? Which voice do you prefer? It doesn't matter. I'll show you all my voices. <laughs> By the way, funny story. When... When my... When someone from Hollow Live contacted me... And we were talking, the first meeting... They asked... Is your voice real? And I wanted to take my book and blast them immediately. But I didn't. But, but, Sue, to that person, it's okay. I forgive you, and I appreciate all the help you've given me to raise me, so it is okay. <laughs> this, one, this is a given. I don't even need to go on about it. It's obvious, guys. Oh, on this one, not much to say about it. I own over 30 porcelain dolls at one point. No longer, though. I ran out of room. So, yeah. Now let us leave this section and finally enter Hololive Headquarters. That is not the Hololive Headquarters. You must forgive me. It seems like something is just happy. Alright, talents. Ugh, Photoshop. Piano playing. I, sight reading is related to piano playing, naturally. And I, I have made an RPG Maker game before. It is no longer existing. I've tried multiple times. But that is actually how I started learning video editing and whatnot. I've dabbled in RemPy. So I suppose when it comes to coding... Very basic coding. I don't know how to code. RemPy and Twine. I, I want to make a text adventure. So I've tried it. But I am no good at finishing a story. Oh, and I know Unity. Someday I wish to make a game with it. A farming slash horror game. But simply an idea. When my body becomes 3D... I hope you're ready for me, because you will see a lot of things. Oh, and I video edit for myself. If you see a video here, most likely I edit it myself. I rarely trust editors, not because there's anything wrong with them, but simply because I have a vision in mind. Now, for the fan name, this is tentative, but I am considering Novelites. Because wouldn't you like to be the elite with me? And then for tags, well, it's already on Twitter. And for when I'm live, Shiorin on air. Now, oh, you'd like to teach me programming? That would be interesting. <laughs> I wouldn't consider myself as a game dev, though. It is simply for this profession. Now, for assets. If you ever wish to help me with assets that I can use for videos, thumbnails... Please, use Shio assets. I would be eternally grateful. But... Um, just know that this is... For these things. <laughs> and let's see... Bum bum bum. Ba 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 bum. 
Oh gosh, I have so many things. Things. Oh, here it is. Oh, my dreams are simple. I wish to travel and visit my friends someday, and Moomin and Mama is my role model, along with my mother. My goals, my voice is actually quite weak. I am simply someone who is a bystander, a wallflower, certainly because of the archiving rule, unless I wish to be a character. So someday I hope I can be a lot stronger when talking. I wish to learn more Unity. I would like to do a ghost hunting vlog. I will archive the memories and edit it myself. And I hope to make friends where I can spam insect pictures too. And of course, everyone wishes for this, but I wish to live happily ever after. And now for the content expected of me. I would like to go for something educational and fun, simply because in my youth, I wish to be a teacher. But I was expected to carry on the legacy of the Nyakuza. Unfortunately, I just became an archiver. Um, we will be having certain streams. I've debated on buying anatomical parts. Of course, they're not real. Don't worry about it. But I would like to teach you anatomy at some point. Not my anatomy, of course. And I own a microscope, so please look forward to us looking at microscope slides. And at the end of the day, I am still a girl at heart, so I do enjoy tea parties, cooking, and arts and crafts, so... <laughs> now, for gaming content... I do enjoy story-driven games. I like to have my heart tugged, essentially. So... I will still be playing games that are, I suppose... Interesting. Simply because I will not play these offline. I will only, most likely, play games on stream. Unless it's a live sim. Now, for videos... I plan on making vlogs and arts and crafts as a given. I will, if I ever travel, I will archive these memories and edit them just for you. All of my things will be hand edited or handcrafted, molded by me. So if I, when I meet my fellow genmates, please expect an archive. So please do be patient because I am doing these things myself. Now let's see. I suppose this is the time. That... I show you myself, huh? Now it is time for this, so... Let us get ready first. Could you close your eyes? Will you? Don't worry, I'll be careful with my stuff. Close your eyes really quick. Oh, but what does it matter? I have this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, everyone. Let's see... Mm -hmm. What could she be doing in there? Alright! I suppose this is the part where I show you what I have to offer. Mm -hmm. So, first off... These shoes. Please! I have already seen your Twitter comments. You wish for me to step on you, was it? You adore my eyes. Or you adore the bottom of my feet. So... These are stylish, functional boots capable of being able to walk and step on you. I have self-defense chains should I need to naturally defend myself. But they're very handy if I ever want to chain you guys down. And then... Now for my skirt portion, I have a tripping eye motif. I, I do actually enjoy Hot Topic, so... <laughs> My mama did such a terrific, wonderful job with my outfit. And I have been through quite a lot of adventures with this. And I also have mixed match stockings because what else is eccentric? Besides mixed match stockings, I am, I suppose, the epitome of your hot goth girlfriend question mark. Now let us move to staring respectfully over here. Now, behold the movements. Look at my elbow length gloves. I own quite a few pairs, so if you see a different color at some point, it is simply because there is this thing called having a wardrobe. I own many of these, so do not be surprised. My arm cuff jewelry. Not efficient, but very, very cool. And the mysterious book. I can't tell you much about it. You'll have to figure it out, but if you ever look at it, I don't think you'll be alive anymore. Unless you're okay with getting Kaneki Kend. And then lastly, my face. 
Let's go a little closer for this. Bum, bum, bum. Behold me respectfully, my two-toned hair. It wasn't always like this. My original hair color is actually black. But of course, when you are stressed and when you fight off knowledge, well, stress makes your hair white. And then this beloved mascot of mine is known as Yorick. Please, please be careful of Yorick. And I like to call I like to call this my hashtag hairpin. <laughs> it drips. Perhaps that is not the only thing dripping on me. For I have eyes dripping on me and ooze everywhere. So I hope you enjoyed looking at oh my. Hello there, chat. Have you been there all this time? I forgot. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, another thing that I should note. Thank you for all the fan art. I I am aware that I might be a little too happy because I keep I keep replying to most of it saying thank you. And I would continue doing so. But I, I am also a little bit self-conscious. If I am, um, a broken record. And I know some of you wish to break, uh, wish to fix that broken record, but still. But for fan art, let me show you that I actually made a BRB screen. So let me just show you really quick. Da, da, da. I made this myself, by the way. So fan art will go on here. Oh, why is that paused? That should not be the case. TB. But anyway, assume... There you go. Fan art will go over here. Uh, please forgive me. I will have to censor the profile picture just to be safe. But I really do... Enjoy the fan art. And I will be trying to change this weekly. So if I fail to respond to you... Just please know you have my thanks. And I really am quite amazed. By all... Of your talents. Oh, and I, I love this piece, by the way. <laughs> I would like to include you as much as possible, after all. Now, let us go back to... Alright. Now, for the first week's schedule... Mm-hmm. <laughs> We are gonna go over a crash history course of VTubing. This will most likely be about technology that I have witnessed myself over the course of the years. VTubing is quite interesting. Please keep in mind this is all memory-based, considering I am an archiver. We will be looking at microscope slides on Tuesday. I have prepared educational things for you, and I have been blessed with the help of a writer as well who has helped me research such things. So, you will see... Their name in the credits. Wednesday, I will be talking about books. Also, I, I just simply wish to fangirl. <laughs> if you are a big fan of books, then please join me. And the girls will be joining at the end of this pajama party. Thursday, karaoke! You'll see my musical taste. I, I hope it is not surprising. We will be going over Left 4 Dead 2 on Friday. And then, I will have a recording day. If you see an offline archiving mission, it is a rest day. Also not a rest day, simply because I am actually recording something. And then Sunday is a little secret. Now, before I end stream, regarding collaborations... Uh, let me... let me get close to your face. Is this good for you? I will be collaborating with friends and people who may be potential friends. Now, this is possibly quite rare, simply because I have to study people. I have to study characters to understand them. The more likely... the more often you see them, the more likely they have reached friend status. But you will not really know unless I mention so. So please respect those around me, okay? You wish to be a good boy for me, don't you? Or perhaps a good girl? I will not tolerate disrespect after all. So please be kind. Kind to each other, okay? I just want all of you to have a happy ending. And I wish all for you to simply smile. 
And if I am not the one that can make you smile, that is okay. I just want you to be happy, even if I may not know you personally. I I am oddly empathetic like that. So, Bibu Stream is up next. You will attend, I hope. Will you please treat my sister well? So, once again, thank you for coming to my debut. I hope that I did not disappoint. And I hope we can make many memories together. My gremlin little pet rock, along with the pet dogs and the pet bird, are coming after me. So for now, I hope you enjoyed what I had. So, ending stream. Wow, that really is quite the end, huh? Here you go. <laughs> I made this as well, by the way. I didn't mean to leave you in the darkness. Unless that's what you want. And my eyes to be the only thing in that sad darkness. So everyone, please, attend Biju stream. It should be in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed today's first stream. So until then, bye-bye for now.